Overview of the RCA process. This section of the course goes over the reliability engineering methodology slash tool. RCFA, dot root cause failure analysis. RCFA fundamentals and the RCFA process will be covered in this small sample from the Rotating Machinery Excellence course PowerPoint. Overview of the RCA process. The method brings a team of three to six knowledgeable people together to investigate the failure using evidence left behind from the fault. The team brainstorms to find as many causes of the fault as possible. By using what evidence remained after the fault, and through discussions with people involved in the incident, all the non-contributing causes are removed, and the contributing causes are retained. A fault tree is constructed starting with the final failure and progressively tracing each cause that led to the previous cause. This continues till the trial can be traced back no further. Each result of a cause must clearly flow from its predecessor, the one before it. If it is clear that a step is missing between causes it is added in and evidence looked for to support its presence. Once the fault tree is completed and checked for logical flow the team then determines what changes to make to prevent the sequence of causes and consequences from again occurring. Root Cause Analysis Improving existing plant performance, or reducing operating risk, requires the elimination of repeat failures or emerging failures. Root Cause Analysis, RCA, is undertaken as a search for the root cause of the problem. Effective RCA is really about seeking effective solutions that control the causes of problems. Like a detective, we look for causes from the effects. Each cause produces the next effect. When we define a problem and begin looking for causes, we ask why of the effect and answer with a cause. Effects become causes as we continue to ask why, and a cause and effect chain is established. The solution we select is the one that is attached to one of the causes that prevents the problem from recurring. Understanding the cause and effect relationships of equipment and operational problems is an essential part of an effective, maintenance program. The best way to institutionalize RCA is to train all levels of an organization so that seeking effective solutions is applied at the workplace and capturing good failure data for analysis is a normal requirement. The chart highlights the presence of two problems. The chart is a visual management tool to make clear to people that normal conditions are breached. It turns numbers into pictures that people can recognize. For production rate you could instead represent injury rate or serious audit findings, or another suitable performance parameter. Once a problem is identified it needs to be addressed. The key point about a problem is that in most organizations when it is resolved the plant simply returns to the previously expected performance norm. Nothing is progressed to prevent the problem. Clearly, we cannot ignore problems. A problem is caused by a defect and unless corrected it will reoccur. We must investigate them to prevent a recurrence, especially for safety incidents. RCFA is a formal method often used to identify the cause of failures and come up with answers to fix it permanently. Another, simpler way for use on the shop floor, is the five whys. This is a great tool for getting the shop floor people to solve problems and come up with the solutions. Identifying and eliminating the problems that are responsible for creating the gap between the status quo and the potential output of the plant is how to turn problems into opportunities. Raising the normal or expected performance of any organization is always worth more than recovering from a short-term problem because it pays you back 24-7. When an incident is investigated you see the effects and use the effects to trace back to the causes. When you arrive at the causes you can choose to stop there and say the investigation is completed, or you can recognize that they are in fact also effects of other causes, and go and look for the truth. When you go deeper into the causes of the causes of an incident, you encounter the issue of latency. Latency in psychology is a hidden an active, or dormant trait. When applied to failure incidents it helps us to identify what thoughts people had at the time that contributed to the incident. We do what we do because we hold certain beliefs, attitudes and values. These tailor our actions and behaviors. If we want to permanently change outcomes we must first change the latent issues affecting the situation. We cannot change people's inner beliefs, but we can introduce systems to change the actions they do. If they see that the new actions produce better results, they will change their attitudes because the evidence is clear that the new ways are better. The method brings a team of three to six knowledgeable people together under the chairmanship of a facilitator. Their task, to investigate the failure using evidence left behind from the fault. The team brainstorms to find as many causes of the fault as possible. By using what evidence remained after the fault, and through discussions with people involved in the incident, all the non-contributing causes are removed, and the contributing causes retained. A fault tree is constructed starting with the final failure and progressively tracing each cause that led to the previous cause. This continues till the trail can be traced back no further. Each result of a cause must clearly flow from its predecessor, the one before it.
If it is clear that a step is missing between causes, it is added in, and evidence is looked for, to support its presence. Once the fault tree is completed and checked for logical flow the team then determines what changes to make to prevent the sequence of causes and consequences from again occurring. The recommended RCFA process steps are 1. Preserve and collect evidence. 2. Appoint experienced facilitator. 3. Assemble a cross-functional team of persons involved in the incident and others knowledgeable in plant-slash-process design and operation. 4. Cost the total impact of the incident to give power to the investigation. 5. Interview persons involved. 6. Investigate the evidence for its history. 7. Team brainstorms, starting at the failure, to develop a cause and effect fault tree of all sequential steps that may have led to the failure. 8. Use the evidence and interviews to confirm the failure path. 9. Record the findings in the fault tree. 10. Identify what can be done at various stages along the path to prevent the failure and how they should operate. 11. Communicate the findings and necessary changes company-wide. 12. Appoint a person to put the changes in place, including doing necessary training, using change management methodology. 13. Review and monitor that progress is made towards the improvements.